Guys, what is up? It's January 3rd, 2023. I'm getting an early start on my water today because I haven't been able to reach my water goal. And I'm about to warm up breakfast for my husband. He's gonna have this McDonald's. So I'm definitely being tempted, but I feel really strong, so I don't even feel like I want that. <sighs> so I feel really good. So I wasn't tempted until I saw this. I am a sucker for papas. I love potatoes. I love hash browns. But I just, I think because I've been doing so good, I don't even want to mess that up right now. So let's warm this up for my husband. I think this is how I'm going to Here's the butter. I don't need butter. All right, guys, so I'm going to be making some scrambled eggs, which I've already got scrambled in here. I chopped up some jalapenos and I'm going to try to make a healthier version of migas so I'm going to figure out how to fry these in a healthy way. Let's see if I can do that. Okay, so my idea to try to make migas is I have my low carb, carb counter tortillas and I'm going to spray them with oh, this Pam olive oil spray and then spray some in the pan too. So we'll put this on here and on the pan, see if they get a little bit crispy and hopefully that gives us like the migas feel and taste. So let's try it out. So this is what it's looking like. I think I like the way this tortilla looks over this one. So no taken. Let's try it. I could use some salt, but not bad. <laughs> this is the music that I have to listen to now. I do miss bopping my Drake. I do miss bopping my J. Cole. Anything with cu cuss words, curse words. But this is <laughs> this is my life now. Although I do like to listen to Spanish music with him in the car because I do want him to be exposed to the language and I do speak to him in Spanish sometimes. I should be better about that. But this is this is the jam. Alright you guys, so I am heading to pick up my mother-in-law. We are going to go get our glasses. They are ready. I'm excited because it's been a while since I've had my glasses. I lost them years ago and just never went to get another pair. So I'm really looking forward to it because although my vision is not really bad or anything like that, I do struggle seeing at night and I know that I can use like a little bit of a crisper vision. I did bring my water bottle with me. I'm doing super good on water today. I'm going to try and reach my goal because for the last couple of days, few days, I have not been able to reach my goal when it comes to water. So that is going to be my main focus today and also going to the park because I need to exercise. I need to get a little walk in and I need to keep up this momentum. So we've got our glasses and now we are at the park doing a little walk. Okay, so we're home and I'm about to eat this as my lunch. It's yesterday's leftovers. I'm going to hold off on the tortilla and the sour cream. It looks super good. I'm really hungry. I'm feeling kind of tired and I was feeling like my appetite spiked after I ate my lunch. So I did end up eating my son's leftovers, which was pretty much mac and cheese, grapes, and some celery with ranch. So still pretty, you know, all nutritious and everything, but well, the mac and cheese, not so much, but there was very little and it did feel nice. But now I'm starting to feel like tired and like, my back's kind of aching, which I've been having back pain for a while ever since I had my c-section and I think the weight just doesn't help at all and I've also been having like foot pain and knee pain so those are just extra indicators that I really do need to lose weight like there's really no if ands or buts about it and if I can't do it naturally then I will have to look into like surgery and I don't want to do that so I know I can do it I know that it's just about changing my mindset and I feel like the book that I'm listening to called The Obesity Mindset, it's really made me realize that it is a mindset when you are obese. Your, your mindset is so used to your habits, which are overeating, eating a lot of, you know, simple carbs and drinking sugary sodas, like whatever it is for you. I think that's another important thing when you're doing a weight loss journey is look into your life and think about what is making you overweight and that's where you should start trying to change habits for example i am a super carb girl like i love carbs i love rice i love tortillas i love chips i love sweets like i love carbs i love sugar you know and i feel like that's a lot of 
our problems here in America. But then there's people like my mother-in-law who she can control her carbs, but her thing is fats like cheese and dairy and so i feel like you got to work with whatever it is that's holding you back and that's kind of where i'm at right now and i know i mentioned it in my last video but i want to mention it again that my focus is to eat better i am doing way better with my water intake today so i'm really proud of myself so now i'm gonna watch a movie with my baby and edit my video and just relax for a little while Hey guys, I just got out of the shower. I don't wash my hair every day, so that's why it looks like this. But I made dinner, sort of. I'm basically eating leftovers. I'm having the same thing that I had for lunch and also for dinner yesterday. This is the last of the leftovers, so it's that same chicken, the same green bean and corn mixture. But I did add some refried beans just to make it more filling. I figured if I don't eat it today, I won't eat it at all. So I just want to, you know, not waste food. You guys, I reached my goal and I finally drank a gallon of water. Well, really 120 ounces. Just to keep it even, I did five of these, which is 120 ounces. But for the last couple of days, I have not been able to do so. And today is the first day that I actually did it. So I'm super, super happy about that. I did feel more hungry today. So I think that the lifestyle changes are starting to hit my body. And my body's like, what? Where's the regular food that we eat? Where's the amount of food that we normally eat so because i'm feeling snacky and i was really starting to think about all the junk food that i have in this house and there's quite a lot of junk food in this house i have ice cream i have cookies i have a lot of crackers i have all of my favorite things honestly we even have hot cheetos which i love but we're on a fitness journey so we really can't be enjoying those things you know so i made myself a healthy treat which i kind of went a little overboard i probably shouldn't have done peanut butter but it's basically apples and chocolate dark chocolate less than a serving and then a serving of peanut butter and some apple slices that my son did not finish so really we are not wasting food and i'm satisfying a craving i'm so excited to eat this because i've been craving just just my junk you know when you are so used to eating junk food it's hard to break that habit um but this is a step in the right direction, so I'm so excited. Let's do a taste test. Mmm. Mmm. That is so good. Wow. Mmm. <laughs> I love it. It's fresh, creamy, chocolatey. It's beautiful. I'm about to devour this because it's so freaking good. But before I do, I just want to end this video and say a huge thank you to all of my subscribers, all of my supporters, everybody who's been commenting. You guys are always so supportive and so welcoming of me. And I just am so grateful for you. So thank you for all of the love and all of the support. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.